Hello everyone, in this video I will explain SPI communication between Atmega 168 microcontroller and SPI EEPROM 25LC256 So basically what this, this protein simulation means uh, it, In this simulation we will put data into the memory locations of SPI, SPI EEPROM and we can also da read data from that memory location and microcontroller will send the data to the receiver virtual terminal in this protein simulation i will only show protein simulation in this video so let us run this protein simulation so here you can see first of all when the program runs it will print the data on first 10 memory location now i am only dealing with 10 memory location because it is easy to explain this video so whatever data is received from the microcontroller it will be shown on this receiver virtual terminal while we can put data to the microcontroller using this um, transmitter virtual terminal it is mentioned as txer so there is two option e to erase and d to write the data let us overwrite some data on the memory location 7 because there is already a data inside the memory location 7 shown as 0 78 decimal so i am going to put the option d because it is shown here d to write data into the prom then it will ask me what number i want to store inside the uh, sorry the number which i want to store inside the prom so let us be 77 and press enter then it will show me the which address location i want to send this data let it be 7 because i am trying to overwrite the data which is already in the memory location 7 so if i press enter we can see um, the 78 on the memory location is replaced by the new value 77 like this we can also add a new data to the memory location 5 let the data be 33 and memory location be uh, sorry i just put some wrong data into the memory location let us show once again so i press the option b and the number you want to show 33 enter under the address location i want to show that is 5 so now you can see on the address location 5 there is a value 33 so next i will connect a spa debugger from the simulation to this spa bus i created and I will show how a read command is working here you can see actually I can't write spy debugger on this spy bus if I run this simulation once again the spy debugger will capture some data so let's analyze it here you can see the first data set by the master microcontroller to slave SPA EEPROM is 0x03 so if you check the code if I go to the header file spylib.h which is actually the spy library which I created using C language here you can see that uh, 0x03 uh, that means 3 represent here you can see the binary representation for number 3 3 represent a EEPROM read command since as we know First of all, the microcontroller at the startup will read data on the 10 memory location. It will try to read the data on the memory location 0. Uh, that is happening on the first line of the code. 0x03 is the read command. Then it will send 16-bit address. So 16-bit form for 0, 0, 0, memory location 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0. Then the EEPROM will return the data stored inside the memory location 0, which is actually 0. Here you can see at the same time microcontroller is sending a read command and the address to the EEPROM it is actually sending some data back that is a dummy data because this is the way SPA communication works we send some data to the S over SPA base and it will return the data simultaneously it is a two shift register connected in series anyway let us check the memory location 2 because we know already there is some data in the memory location 2 so if we check the read operation in memory location 2 we can see 0 3 4 read command and 0 0 0 2 16 bit address look address of memory location 0 uh, 2 and in, in that case the eprom is returning uh, the number 37 this is the hexadecimal form for the decimal value 55 so this pi degree is showing data in hexadecimal format because we can confirm it by <coughs> seeing the value 0 xff and if we also check the 7th memory location 
we can see we are receiving a data <coughs> see 4d which is actually the hexadecimal representation of 77 so thanks for watching